Hello everyone. So today in this video, I want to talk about uh, resume or or a CV. Now you can always create your own resume in uh, any popular software like MS Word or LibreOffice or Google Google Writer, I guess. And uh, there is nothing wrong with using Word. There is nothing wrong with using those uh, popular softwares. But in case you are uh, already using uh, Linux or thinking of using org mode or thinking of using LaTeX, then do consider making your resume in uh, in org mode or I should say LaTeX because when you create a resume in uh, LaTeX, you basically are working on a file a text file which you can version control and I have mentioned I have talked about the benefits of using uh, nothing but a text file but to be honest if you create a resume in uh, LaTeX in this case I'm using of course org mode to export it to PDF through LaTeX it looks really good I mean if you look at this resume this, this resume this resume or a CV it's a CV because it, it has like a lot of pages it looks really nice and uh, it is neat it is uh, well formatted and I don't have to worry about anything. I just need to make my resume in a text format, which uh, I can, uh, of course, manage easily. And at the same time, uh, if I have to version control, I can because it is nothing but a text file. Uh, so which I anyways do because all of my files are stored, backed up and wherever applicable, I do version control them. Now, if you look at this particular file on the right hand side, uh, this is my summary and as you can see here the summary is nothing but you know some text and the output is uh, of course you know nicely formatted now natively the output will be different so if, if i show you the setup file of my org uh, export so i basically use a couple of setup files to to basically export to a PDF format, a PDF file with or without uh, a header. So for example, this is my first page. If I go to second page, you will find this header on top or basically this header is of course empty, but uh, there is a header or a footer in this case. And the footer is basically, uh, it has like something on the left hand side, which is nothing but a text. In this case, it is my email ID and website. And there is also this uh, number of pages like page or page 5 or 5 whatever so you can actually manage it very easily using your uh, setup file there are a few things that I want to talk about because natively your export will not look like this so a couple of things if you export <coughs> natively from uh, I mean if you export without using or with minimum minimal configurations in your LaTeX header you will basically have uh, the, the width of the text that covers it won't be the whole or in, in this case it is quite a lot basically it is covering almost uh, uh, 70 80 percent of the width but uh, if you export it using LaTeX without any conf extra configurations it will probably cover uh, maybe 60 percent so for, for a resume I wanted to have uh, you know because I think this looks good and this is something that you can do very easily with the help of uh, you know just few configurations that you can uh, add in your setup file so by the way I i'm not really going to talk about each and every configuration but for me it is mostly all about uh, the having like a, like a footer which i usually pref which i usually prefer and at the same time uh, i also want uh, to change the font which is something in this case uh, helvet and it and I guess uh, I just wanted to add a footer. But apart from that, uh, nothing much happening here because uh, the setup, or not the setup file, but the org file itself, it is uh, also controlling few things like, you know, in the options. I don't really, I don't really want to export the timestamp or the table of content or uh, the, I don't really want uh, numbering in the bullet points. Also, I don't really want to export the date and also the author. And this is something that you can very easily do uh, with nothing but, of course, you know, a text file. But a couple of other things, if you want to insert uh, like some extra lines, because right now, usually all, the new line will not be 
out will not be exported as a new line you have to insert some new lines or you you can also add some global option on top like backslash and colon t so for me wherever applicable for, for example in my summary i want to insert these lines i can do that very easily like this very simple right but apart from that it is a very simple document so there is my summary and uh, my publications certifications experience and then of course for each and every experience there are further sections and and that is it and the output is actually very simple for me if i have to modify something i mean to be honest i, I don't really have to modify my resume uh, or it's not a good thing to be honest maybe i should learn more things <laughs> so i will be of course modifying if i have to modify i can uh, modify it now i do use my resume because i do uh because sometimes not always sometimes uh, my clients organizations or potentially new clients uh, they want to know a bit more about me so before they actually start talking to me they want my resume and i think apart from your company profile the person or the consultant who is going to work should also have some pro profile or cv resume ready and i of course do it using org mode and latex i also have uh, this on my website now good thing is that you can also export it to other formats so if you do control c control e you can see here that you can also export it to html and uh, also odt format which is amazing right but for me of course you know pdf is great i mean I, i'm talking about odt here because sometimes sometimes in some cases people ask for word and you can also save odt to odt to a word format if there's a need it happens sometimes you know people ask for a word file and they are a bit rigid about it anyways so uh by the way i made a video on this topic i believe sometime last year but uh, it has been working great for me i don't really open my resume or modify it that often but occasionally if i have to modify something i can just modify the org file and export it to a pdf file now because i have lot of my org files which i export to pdf now there is a problem there is a problem about uh, ensuring that the pdf file is up to date because my org file is always up to, always up to date but my pdf file is not always up to date because uh, i also sync my files on my mobile um uh, not all of them but at least the ones that i com like i need to have with me all the time for example if i have the same resume on my mobile then uh, if i open it after 6 months or if i have to use it or send it to someone from my from my mobile because yes that can happen if i'm traveling or if i don't really have access to my laptop i might still need to send someone my resume but from my mobile phone i will only have the last exported version of the pdf file which could be a problem now i i solve this problem when it comes to my proposals my client proposals because uh, when you when you when i export my client proposals i usually name my org file with like versioning version 1 so i don't really use actual version control i i mean of course apart from using the version control i i name the file as the actual version because when you are dealing with client uh, uh doc i mean documents related related to you know some some kind of a legal or proposal kind of a work you need to know very clearly by looking at the document that this was version 2 and whenever i have like a different version of the same document or basically another another revision on the same proposal i have like a section on top where i write down versions and in that particular section i have a date so whenever i export it to pdf it also generate the or basically it will insert the date on which i exported but of course when it comes to resume i don't really want to make it too complicated it's a simple document but uh, i guess um it's a problem it's a challenge and i don't really have any i i, I might i might need to think about it because by looking at the pdf file i might not know maybe i'll just rename my pdf file to something so that i know it was exported on that particular date because i can always look at the date uh of the file which is usually same as the org file but there's no it's not like a full proof way to figure out anyways that is it for today's video do consider using org mode or latex for resumes or cvs you should all right that is it bye bye